to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. I'm assuming there was a monetary payout for your... I can't remember. I don't have that in my notes. So do we need to try to fence this item? No. She's got to turn yeah. it into no, the No, no, I have to turn it into the golden crucible. Now comes but... that moment where, where, where she realized that she, she just took the job. The guild. Uh, yeah, but I think there was supposed to be... I can't remember... Huh. There was something specific. That... I think it was like, uh, you had to do this or else kind of thing. But I th- oh, well, thought the there guild. was a... You're a member of the guild. You do things for the guild. Yeah, but what were they going to do for me? <laughs> Yeah, because I was going to say, we always choose the or else. Well, I'm sure they pay for services. Yeah. Yeah, so... You have access to their labs and their libraries and their network? As a member, I already have that, though. You get the monthly pamphlet, that's all. Hmm. You can see AARP letters from them as well. It's almost like they sell your information. Thank you. Could, we, you. could we turn them on to... the shark scales? You you do believe the guild will do right by you. It's, yeah. It's the guild. Maybe they'll give me components. Lots of components. That would be nice. I mean, hard coins much nicer, but just saying. Well. Don't forget, you need to vegetables. develop a um, antidote and then subtly alter the recipe in the book just a little bit to throw the guild off. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's how you get kicked out of the guild. Yeah. <laughs> but now I have, but I I, I definitely want coffee so I can, because think about it, you know. Yeah. It could be handy. She goes to the local Xerox and. <laughs> yeah, the local Xerox technically would be me. <laughs> That's a I mean, there's scribes for hire. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't want a third party. Uh... How how good is Gunny at, at writing? <laughs> I have him reading stuff all the time. Can Gunny write? <laughs> no, Gunny oh, is okay. not sufficiently uh, literate. Yes. As, as Gunny has learned to mock people by standing there holding two pieces of scrap metal like a book. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You did real good tonight. He did. Real good. He helped save the guy. It looked like he was he was kind of glitching a little bit, though. I, I think you might need some fine-tuning. That's, that's acting, sir. I took after you. He'll flare for the dramatic. Well, then... Well done. Thank you. You had me fooled. <laughs> so, you started your relationship with Derek on a lie. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you not to be so judgy, okay? You wow. left me. First off, you left me. <laughs> Just saying. 
<sighs> but yeah, I guess we go back to base. She does her transcribing and turns her stuff in, I guess. I mean, at mm -hmm. this point. Pretty much. As, of course, you know, your favorite serving wench comes by and drops off more food and drinks since the, the fourth member of your little cabal finally showed up. <laughs> About time, I was getting hungry again. <laughs> you need some more of that colored, what, orange or something, was it? Oh, yeah, the the <laughs> red stuff, was it, or the green stuff? <laughs> hey, Theo, do you think you could make some kind of... some kind of alchemical thing in a bottle that I could have Gunny throw in the event, like, we need a distraction? I could create a smoke bomb that he could toss, but there's not like a. Um, but I need it to be kind of like like sturdy, you know, because he's mm -hmm. not very careful. But if if like he smashed it really hard, it might explode. Or maybe if he twists it and it has like a timer. Well, um... just just throwing it out there. You know, if we can't, that's fine. Yeah, see, because the ones that I know specifically are the alchemical um, restorative, the um, an alchemical explosive, and alchemical acid. Okay. But okay. then for the fast brew, which, you know, I can do quick, simple things that don't require, you know, I can make either an alkalic fluid, um... It neutralizes acids. Um, a black bond, which is sort of like a, an adhesive uh, sticky tape, you know. <clears throat> um, a fire stifle, which, uh, you know, like a foam extinguisher kind of thing. Um, the simple smoke bomb, you know. I can make a stink gasp, a stink bomb, too. Okay. By the way, the doctor was extraordinarily impressed with your healing abilities and also, he was very impressed with your uh, little healing potion. Like, I had to get kind of a little rough with him to make him, you know, not ask too many questions. He was so impressed with it. And Theo's a little confused. Is like, has the doctor not had experience with alchemical restoratives? Bizarre. I mean, he was quick to identify it, so. They're not uh, that rare. He was just impressed that the recipe was so well done so well. Yeah. Um, I don't know. He could have been a crack doctor for a while, I know, but, you know, <clears> any more <throat> a storm kind of thing. Well, as long as he gave it to the, the guard, then we're good. If he didn't, I will not be pleased. We'll burn his house down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have stuff that can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we could do that out. anyway. <laughs> No, because well, if he's were, actually people helping people, there. we don't want to. Yeah. But if he's, you know, pulling an HMO, then... Yeah. <laughs> Fine, then what are we going to burn? <laughs> um... I didn't get shot this time. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Yay. That's a good point. Alright, well, I guess Gunny and I will turn in for the evening um, do we do we know what we're doing tomorrow do we have a plan <clears throat> same thing we do every day try to take over the world <laughs> <laughs> are you thinking Fair what enough. I'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah but where are we going to find rubber bands <laughs> <laughs> oh eyes that was a good yeah, impression the brain pinky in the brain. <laughs> Did the doctor give me any kind of idea on when um, Derek would be up and moving? Uh, he basically said you could come back tomorrow. He should be uh, up and talking. Yeah, my restorative should do the trick. He should I mean, be back in business quite, you know, with Her restorative is going to get him back on his feet within you know, hours. With, with alacrity. Guys, give me give me one second. Somebody just rang my doorbell. But okay. I, I'm going to I'm going to put on my 
nice clothes for the next couple days, not my work hats or stuff. And I'm going to go to that coffee shop in hopes that I see Derek. I will be. Aww. 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 It wouldn't hurt to have another uh, connection on the uh, the local guard. Well, oh, yeah, between him, the other two, and we're all good. Yeah. And having the Golden Crucible uh, pleased with us is also a pretty good thing. Yeah. Yeah, looks like everything's coming up roses for us. <laughs> yeah. No, don't didn't say that. Kill any, <laughs> didn't have to kill any coppers or nothing. But we didn't Sorry, get it Amazon. Yay for Amazon. Yeah. <sighs> what I miss? Absolutely no. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we were that just saying that it's breath waiting for you. <clears throat> it's not uh, too shabby a thing to have uh, another contact on the with the guard. Yep, we can make friends. I mean, hell. The guard, they used, the, we, we helped with another guard uh, activity, so. <clears throat> We're getting quite the reputation as do-gooders. No! Well, <laughs> anything but that. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be invited to the watch barbecues. <laughs> right? Hmm. Annual Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we need to rethink our life choices. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, just keep you your us, enemies close. You gotta smooth the right people sometimes. You know. Exactly. To benefit your operation. So you guys are all heading back to uh, heading back to the base. Yes, because I need yeah. to uh, copy yeah. the. Okay, so you guys head back to the base, and uh, somebody's spending a couple coppers to uh, get all the parchment inks he needs to copy down the, the bizarre wall decoration that is this recipe that she's putting together. <laughs> Do me a favor and give me a uh, check here. It's going to be for your alchemy, so it's intelligence-based. Intelligence. Uh-huh. Can, I, can I assist? I, I've gone to school. Okay. Yeah, well, because I had been enough? copying it, uh, uh, or reading, so uh, to see how well you copied. It. Okay. Are but you the, having her check your notes? <laughs> sure, she can help because she, you know. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. I don't have to set up a dice pool in this game system, so. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Not even easy. Not Okay, so the two of you. plus five to intelligence. The two of you have successfully copied the recipe. And the day. this, you know, because of course wealth and power are nothing, fulfillment can only be found artistic and scientific expression. This gives me inspiration by doing this. <laughs> Yes, the both of you have inspiration because hers is also stealing anything not nailed down. So now she's glad you actually stole it and you're stealing it from the Golden Crucible. So your your partner in crime is double whammy. Inspiration as well. So that way Mia and Theo are getting all criminally joygasmed on each other that they are stealing from the client that they stole for. No, I'm not stealing something. I earned this. Sharing. Mm. Information should be free. Exactly. Right. Yeah, they don't know intellectual rights yet, so. <laughs> Her making a copy is not copy. illegal at this day and age. The Crucible didn't <laughs> say I couldn't make a copy. They, they specifically did not. Of law. Which means that implies they were expecting you to make a copy, right? Well, you know. Always good to have a backup. You have to be... I mean, she is an alchemist. Yeah, well, hell, even if they had told me not to make a copy, <laughs> I'd have made a copy. Who are we kidding? <laughs> and that's You're their backup in case they lose it. That huh? by making a copy, it's like that. Yeah. 
We're stealing secret knowledge. <laughs> okay, and Mia, of course, you know, shows up at the uh, the little cafe. There's a fine, beautiful little uh, cafe out there. And uh, on the second day that she's out there in her little, little nice outfit with the cool ocean breeze, because the cafe overlooks the ocean breeze, your watch guy does this slow walk by with two of his watch members. And you totally see as he walks up, he's doing the, the look down his nose, look, 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 look. Well, he's walking by with his chums just hanging out and doing the watch thing. And he's totally looking for somebody. Is it Derek? It is Derek. Oh, As uh, it, it only it only takes a few moments for him to uh, lock eyes with you and, and takes him a second to recognize your face with the, the person sitting there is the right person. You know, he's he may have been looking at the, the wrong time of day yesterday was <laughs> thinking you was imagining your face on different people. <laughs> I'm going to do the, you know, where you look, look down, look back up, smile, look down again. Oh, dear look, God. Come here. Look, come here. Come here, Okay, do me a favor. Give me a persuasion roll. I just want to see just how flirty you are or if you're awkward. Oh. Oh. Hurts my soul. Oh, wait. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, 12 is not schlubby. I mean, climbing down a two-story building is a 10. I mean, so so you get awkward and flirty, and he gets awkward and flirty, and all of a sudden, the carriage being, you know, pulled by some steam jacks rolls past your guys' view as we get a screen swipe as you guys get some little coy. However you want to take this, he's more than willing to comply. Um, I'm gonna be. I, I like it. I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on my best behavior. Aw, you find out he's a good kid, raised by a good family, and five fingers his whole life, and he's serving the watch to do the right thing because once upon a time, his family was saved by a watch member when there was a fire. Aw. I love him. Aww. Wait, wait, wait. He's a good kid who grew up in five fingers his whole life yep he's that aren't you glad we saved him 20. He, he, okay he's a he i didn't know they existed <laughs> <There's certainly laughs> <anomaly. laughs> well, we just blame all the then. pirates that have come into this town <laughs> so, uh, so but now she'll corrupt them nope <laughs> <laughs> maybe as Mia's gonna have a double life going on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys basically find out from the, the broadsheets, you know, the newspaper, that uh, the police believe that the alchemist shop was broken into, but the uh, the shark scales are the perpetrators in question. <laughs> <being searched> for <laughs> murder Misdirection! <laughs> <laughs> An apparent break-in, and uh, according to the the alchemist, they they stole thousands of gold <laughs> worth of property, potions, and uh, th there was a warning that goes out in one of the little 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 stor side stories saying, uh, "Be careful buying any uh, alchemical components off the street, as they could be compromised and stolen and mislabeled." <laughs> uh. Because obviously, yeah. thousands of credits of alchemical potions that obviously they're going to fence them, right? Mm hmm. And sorry, Alexa, what's your question? What was your question? Do we have any extra armor at uh, our yeah. hideout? We don't? Okay. Okay. But as uh, we get the little screen swipe as Theo is going to go drop off her now duplicated book. Anybody going with her as she does that job? I'll do that. As you know, there's a uh, conveniently private room in the city library where uh, people can come and privately research things in the library. And that's where her meetup is with her Golden Crucible contacts. As uh, all of a sudden she she hears this this familiar 
Ku Lee's song from back home and uh, kind of, you know, you get this, this moment of, of reflection from back in the old college days where she went off on her little bender. <laughs> My you parents know, covered take, that up. <laughs> you take some alchemical components and somebody just goes on a little whoopsie daisy. And uh, you totally recognize there's this, this brunette sitting there, you know, singing under her breath very politely at the private, you know, private little area in the library. She's got the reserved room and it's totally reserved in your name, by the way. Just full on has the <laughs> full actual name as it is in the Golden Crucible's registry. And what is that full name? Theodosia is- Devereaux. You have the room reserved for four hours, and uh, you see this long-haired brunette lady sitting there that you immediately recognize as one of your old school chums, damn Golden Crucible, sending somebody who can recognize you by face. Yeah. It's almost like they're a bunch of smart alchemical assholes. What's her name? Uh, her name is Zasha. With a Z. Zasha. Okay. Zasha. And Zasha totally, you know, she hears you walk in, but she waits that half second to finish reading the sentence in the book she's reading. And she totally does the Barbie hair flip and looks and immediately gives this dazzling smile back at you. And, of course, you know, this is one of your old school chums, you know, is totally, totally in chemical cosmetics. And obviously he's been using her products because her hair looks amazing. And then she looks past you towards, you know, your entourage. And, and she just gives a pleasant smile as she closes the book and puts it down. And you clearly see it's a record of uh, <clears throat> alchemical extracts from cr- creatures in the region, which is lots of weird, weird things. Like Zasha, what a pleasure to see you. She totally gets up and does the kiss, kiss on the cheeks, you know, back home traditions. It's great to see someone from the home country. And, and and she basically says, take a seat, take a seat. So did you get the item in question? Why, as a matter of fact, I did. And, and she totally gestures for you to put, put whatever it is up on the table. So I put the book on the table. How's the family? Oh, they're their family. They they require too much attention, too much coin, and too much demands for perfect and she wafts her hair. Too much hair product. Well, given your specialty, you're looking fantastic, and I can see why they would. And she just totally giggles at that as as she reaches down and pulls out. It looks like a uh, doctor's bag, you know, that carpet bag style Uh bag, but it's very long. It's about the size of, you know, a person's leg. It's got that whole three, four foot length going there with the reinforcement. So she Mm -hmm. bumps that down on the table and uh, you can clearly see it's got the golden crucibles, little emblem embroidered on the, the handle area and she just you know kind of politely smiles as she shoves awkwardly this this big ass bag towards your side of the table obviously you're thinking this is in uh recompense for for what you put on the table and she's just like so uh so who are your friends how are you doing are you seriously living out here and she just does the stink face. Oh, you know, I was never much for all the the, the fuss and of, of family back home. The, I find the uh, environments so creatively inspiring. I am constantly being challenged. It's fantastic. The people are, for the most part, a hoot. And... While, you know, the beverages aren't always the best, they are in ready supply. So this here is a, is a colleague of mine who uh, helps uh, with uh, um, uh, different procuring, you know, types of things. Um, but no, Whatever. it's actually fantastic. I mean, you know, I never did specialize in, you know, want to specialize in, in the, the the uh, cosmetics um but i certainly appreciate how well your products work 
As, as she she totally gives your compatriot there the little up and down look. You know her from school. She had a reputation. What she does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what was her name again? Mary Kay. Zasha. <laughs> <laughs> that's her last name, Marika. <laughs> that that's a family name. <laughs> Mary Kay is so it's Zasha Mary Kay. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> it, it is officially canon now. Yeah. Marike. <laughs> As uh, she totally slides you the bag, and then uh, you know she she says there's there's a few things there from the uh, the organization, and she totally does the golden crucible secret hand gesture. As you know, she says you you may find them interesting. I don't know exactly why they're giving you them. But they basically said to deliver this. And uh, he, here's a little something from me. And she basically puts on top of the table from her little bag a nice bottle of uh, vintage wine from back in the old country. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you, Zasha. And she totally, you know, uh, gives you the, the eyeball gesture of like, is he really just a friend? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I'm like, yes. And she gestures for you to open the bag. And do you clearly see inside the very large bag is lots of cloth to pad the bag. Who knows why they put like a literally a ream of cloth in there. But a clockwork injector probably to keep that. Okay, hold it. Down. What type of cloth first off? Uh, it's basically just cloth of the homeland. Nothing fancy. Linen? Kind of fancy. Huh? Kind of satiny. Oh. It's just cloth. I mean, if you want to sell it to a seamstress, you can you can definitely get some coin off of it, but mm-hmm. it was just put in there as packing material, basically. And inside, you open up and see that there is a clockwork injector. Basically, it is a complex device that consists of a fragile tube terminating in a maw of sharp needles with four vials mounted on the gear-driven carousel. Each vial can be loaded with one dose of a injectable alchemical substance or poison. Yeah. The wielder simply selects one vial, and the device swiftly rotates the correct vial into position. Through the clockwork injector is far from a serviceable weapon. It can be quickly used to deliver a number of alchemical solutions. A creature hit with a clockwork injector takes one piercing damage and is exposed to the selected alchemical solution or poison. Injecting an unwilling creature requires an attack roll. This part is not actually being said as she looks at it. And the clockwork mm. injector is treated as an improvised weapon. It takes one minute to replace or refill the contents of the clockwork injector. And then you find some interesting little vial that you pull up and shake, and you're not quite sure with what it is. But clearly it has listed on it that it is a vial of infernal creature's blood, type unknown. Because, you know, freaking Golden Crystal, they just give you random alchemical crap. Mm-hmm. And speaking of random alchemical crap, you also find five doses of bioluminescent extract. Excellent. As you shake it and it glows bluish green. And she just smirks her nose at the random stuff that they just gave you. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. My head looking at the stuff like, what? Ooh, and she's just ah. looking at the back. Junk, and you're just like, but where's the coin? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's going to be too much in the way of coin. Is there any in there? (laughs) (laughs) You shake the bag. And there does seem, give me a perception check. A perception check? Okay. Sorry, I was making notes. Um, Let me get back to the core page. Okay. Wow. Damn. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'm really excited looking at the bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and as you look into the bag, you clearly know that there are 20 gold pieces sewn into the lining of the bag. Ooh. As you totally run your hand in it and your finger stops and you're just like, hmm, there's, there's some round s- stacks here. Five of them, in fact. 
And okay. uh, they it's about 20 gold, you think. It is totally 20 gold. As you run your hand over there, realizing that they uh, sewn coins into the bag for, for safety's sake. Or it's just golden crucible bags. They always put pocket money in them just in case. Excellent. And she totally, you know, gives you some little social hellos and hadoos and asks if there's any place while in town she should go to before she catches the next train out of this cesspool. I mean, wonderful place. Well, that all depends on what you're looking for, my darling. Um, are you looking for something a little upscale? I mean, well, the up a scale from in this vicinity, or are you looking for something a little more uh, characteristic of the local flavor? As, as she totally jokes about something characteristic but sanitary. Okay, I'm going to give her the name of one of the nicest in. Ah. You know, uh, when I feel like carousing in the, you know, on the nicer end as opposed to the lower end, that's where I go. There's a great place with some uh, red or green slime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you no. Know, it's like it has aubergine so. slime. That's what makes it fancier. <laughs> <laughs> it's aubergine. <laughs> you know, it's really good when the, the, the slime is ombre. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's the prettiest. <laughs> With glitter! So, <laughs> you don't uh, know what to know with glitter time. is. And uh, she, she totally gestures over when she's about to leave for a uh, gentleman that's, you know, all in black leathers with a little bit of copper highlight in his leather armor and she gestures she points to the book and he totally whips out his little satchel and slides the book and a couple of the loose papers you had with the book in in the satchel and he totally you know goes back to standing quietly in the corner out of sight unobtrusive and she just smiles and says oh that's that's my man and, and then she totally gives the weak face, you know. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean he's he's my 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 protector and. Uh, oh no, know, I totally get servant. you. I wouldn't want to start reputation. <laughs> <laughs> and and she basically excuses herself and lets you know that you have the room for a little while longer. And you totally look against the wall, and there's a hourglass, the one-way hourglass. That's totally ticking down your four hours. You got plenty of time if you want to sit, use said private library reading room. Um, yes. And I have another notebook that I'm taking notes with. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, in the private library rooms, it's got a basic mini library of common stuff. It's where the duplicate books are really just held until they're actually sold off. So, uh,. As you guys, you know, wrap up the exchange of services and duties, uh, is there he anything you duty. guys have planned <laughs> for your next downtime? And is there any gigs that you guys are interested in initiating rather than having land at your lap? Um, if we're downtime i probably do more carousing but uh because that's part of my nature is everything on dead silent i got one uh, uh, minute oh, go at, ahead yeah no i was looking i didn't try to see if we had a sheet that had like the downtime stuff but i don't see it I was gonna say, do you want me to list one? I can make, I can create one at a future date. By future date, I mean tomorrow. So Tomorrow's let me give you the list as I pull up Xanathar's and Iron Kingdoms, because Iron Kingdoms does have its own one. As the Control F feature is our friend, because of course there is the uh, if you want to use the downtime. <laughs> gang there is the one for recruiting that's that's always a good one if you have nothing else to do so as a company of outlaws your downtime activities that you can do for the gang is boasting 
One of the essential skills of growing adventuring companies is the ability to market oneself. A company can increase its prestige by spending time hitting the streets and sharing information about its exploits and capabilities. Each day spent boasting increases their prestige by one, but unfortunately there is a cap for you guys at the moment. That uh, you guys, you know, you're getting better at prestige, but you can only do so much prestige at one time. The company yeah. cannot use this downtime to increase the prestige beyond the maximum prestige of its current tier, which you are tier one, which means your cap is ten. Then there's prison break, which nobody's in jail in the group. So you're <laughs> yeah, okay. and Let's then hope we're not. The, here's oh. the one that was used last time, which is the recruitment drive. Many companies rely on a modest cohort of hirelings to function at their full capacity. Unfortunately, events can cause hirelings to seek employment elsewhere or perish while attempting to fulfill their duties. Members of a company can try to replace lost hirelings by visiting the local watering holes, setting up notices for employment, and hitting the streets to spread the word. A recruitment drive requires one goal per day of activity. A number of days spent in engaged in activity determines the number and challenge rating of the higher links the company can attract, as shown on the list below. So for one day, you can get a bunch of really crappy hirelings, or one to four meh hirelings, or one really confident on, on par with player hirelings. And then, of course, two doubles the number. Then four days can, can actually give you somebody better than you guys at this point. And then a whole <laughs> eight days can give you one to four really competent hirelings. So there is that. And then let me pull up Xanathar's, which has got the regular downtime stuff. You know, the common d stuff. Right. Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Like... Entertaining and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. For those I want to go on in some, some, uh, for some parts for Gunny. See if I can find anything. I mean, I got a little bit of a little bit of money. Um, can I go look at I don't know salvage yards, uh, pawn shops? Ooh, I'll go with. Might find some components. Yeah, uh. and if I happen to find some cheap armor, <laughs> cheap but good. So shopping is just something you guys can shop. This is Five Fingers. Everything is available. So if you want to just okay. go through the player's handbook and do a shopping montage, you can easily find anything in the player's handbook in, in Five Fingers because there's so many ships coming in and going out. So here, here's a list of things you can do. For downtime activities, there is buying a magic item. You can attempt to find a specific magic item. They're usually really expensive. Yeah, I was going to say. We ain't yeah, got that kind of money yet. They start at like 70 gold and work their way up quickly. Yeah, we ain't got that kind of... Then there's it. somebody's favorite one, which is carousing. Yeah, I do like it. My character is all I, for... I, I, uh, pick going low, mid, or high class carousing. I did low last time. Mm -hmm. But I met crafting. Harvey. Harvey's so nice, and he works for the Forge Factory. <laughs> <laughs> then there is crafting an item. If you want to craft something, like herbalism kits can be used for antitoxins, potions of healing, leatherworking can be used for armor, boots, smithing tools, armor, and weapons. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think we have somebody proficient in smithing tools. And weaver's tools for cloaks and robes. <laughs> then we have... Man, That's not me. Am I proficient in that? I'm pretty sure you're proficient in sniffing. Then we quick nudge nudge. I do want to do that. <laughs> I don't see it on my... I mean, you maintain a freaking big metal beam. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna work on gunny. Can I try to do something with uh, either Gunny or with my uh, my pistol and somehow add some magic to it? Well, that's that's going to require you to buy parts to do that. This would be like, you know, because you have in your base equipment to basic smithing tools, you can make something. But for some uber meta magic tech, you actually need components for that stuff. 
You gotta go. Okay, somewhere. well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> think real hard and make something for Gus. What are you looking to make for him? Like armor or? Um. Do I have to know right this minute? Uh, do you want time? You can just tell me that that's what you're crafting. That's how you're spending your downtime. There's no pressure to do it right now. Yes. Anymore. Yes, I am going to craft and make something for okay. Daddy in between trying to move Derek. So totally write down in the chat notes of what it is you're doing during game time, during, during your downtime. Okay. And to give, and remember, you can only do like one big downtime thing. The okay. other option is crime, if anyone wants to commit crime, which is always <laughs> fun. You uh, choose a uh, DC of what kind of crime you want to do. You roll your dice and see if you succeed or fail. You may end up in jail. This this does happen. And uh, there's gambling. There's pit fighting. If you want to get into the pit fighting scene, that's totally a thing. Oh, there is totally relaxation. Sometimes the best thing to do between an adventure is just to relax. That's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go carousing again. Low class. <laughs> uh, religious service for those who may be religiously, which I don't think is any of you. <laughs> no. Then there is the research. If you'd like to research something, costs oh. like fifty gold and materials, though. No. Well, we don't materials, have 50 bribes, gold. gifts, and other. Yeah, we don't have fifty gold for. <laughs> And then they're scribing a spell onto a scroll if someone wants to spend the time in gold to do that, because that also takes gold. And then there is selling a magic item if you had something that you would like to sell. Then there is training, which is ridiculous in D&D, by the way. If you'd like to learn a new skill that one of your friends you know, has, you can actually do 25 gold per work week training Ooh. for 10 weeks and at the end of which you get a 10% uh, chance of completing the training and getting a new skill yep 250 gold for a 10% chance well it's 10% chance of completion per, per, per 10 weeks so you may not even learn the skill because it's like actually learning something Know, yeah, I mean, yeah. never had that before, so that's right here. Yep. And there is work, which if you want to actually just do work and make money. What? And I hear blip blips in the, the chat. What's going on? Do you want to go gambling? I changed my mind. Your, or, whatever. Apparently. Lex, Lex, instead of being helpful for Gunny, she wants to go gambling. I'm going to go try to make okay. some money. Okay, no, I like that. She, she's going to take some coin and go try to make the coin magically reproduce itself. So Theo's going to be carousing with the low-class group. Lex is going to be gambling and apparently Could dating. Could we kind of go together so she can kind of help me, maybe? Like, she's distracting them a little bit. Like, you know, making it nice and... and uh, what is the word? I'm looking, not liquid. That that she's, she's spreading out the alcohol to help make... Things my favor. Oh, you obviously didn't ask what happened last time she was around. <laughs> I did very going. poorly. <laughs> That's not fair, though. Okay, That's so, how we so you girls are totally doing a girls' night out kind of thing. And uh, what do you guys think of doing? Yeah, so what was the cutoff for better dudes? Two days or three days? Uh, let me jump back in. Was it three days? Uh, it's one day, two day, four day, or eight days. Okay, so two day was gets, gets a fin potentially what? Uh, two days can either get you two d four cr one eight higher lens links or one d four cr one quarter, which is equal to first level players higher lens. All right. All right. Yeah. While they're out playing, I guess I'll invest. <laughs> four days again into the building First off, I'm recruiting I'm recruiting somebody right now there you're recruiting money hopefully maybe. so uh, you're spending one gold per day so you're spending two gold coins and the question no, is four days four days 
Yeah. Like I said, I'm investing in our organization while they go play. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just to let you know, after the end of your four days, here's your option. 2d4 CR one quarter hireling or 1d4 half or one CR one hireling because you already have one really good hireling who's your quartermaster. You your yeah, the quartermaster was what he was a CR one, right? Yeah, he's a CR one. So you now have a second CR one, or you could have a bunch of little mooks. Yep, yep. Or a gaggle of little little mooks. <laughs> you have time to plan. And uh, as as our bard is thinking of what he's going to do, what what's the next job? Is it something specific and personal you guys are looking to do, or are you just waiting to see what falls into your lap, i.e., what I throw at you? Well, uh, my character's a go with the flow kind of gal. I think we should go steal from the shark. The, the sh- Shark, the, shark, the shark, scale. shark scale shivs. Yeah. Do they have anything worth stealing? Nothing else to talk bad about Cuddy. Oh. <laughs> we called him Chunk. No, oh. as long as long as we can burn down their place when we're done, I'm in. Okay. Cuddy, don't go inside. <laughs> yeah, so you basically sending your hirelings off to uh, start getting some intel on the start shark scale too. Yeah. Or could I could I maybe talk to Derek and see what he might have like might have known about them because they they did go after him. I mean, before the police are on it. That's a good way of going. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, uh, we will find out next time then, because that will be part of the adventure set up there. <laughs> now, last but not least, what is the uh, plan for our uh, bard? What is, what is Gargosh going to do for his downtime? I want to earn some money by performing. Would that just be work? That's work, yeah. I will work. So, uh... Work. Are we all at the same bar? <laughs> hey, you do have a bar to do it at, or you can, you know, hire yourself out to go work at different locations. That's totally up to you. Oh, I could be a wedding singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's put it this way. The, uh... Okay, one work week... Do, 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 do. So uh, that's going to be nice. <laughs> and I'm trying to copy paste and it's not working. There we go. Okay, so that is the master plan. We have a master plan. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, there's crowsing, gambling, recruiting, and wedding singing going on. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's totally a thing. I mean, people got to yeah. get married in the five fingers. It's not just all working arrangements. <laughs> So between the two of us, we got to bring in more than four doll or four gold to make up for calluses. Yeah, right. <laughs> and what Theo's gonna drink? Okay. okay. What? Exactly. So, so we have exactly. a plan. We know what we're doing between adventures, especially since you know uh, we have a certain romance apparently budding. Oh, and then you've God. got uh, Gargosh with his magic romance song. He's practicing for a certain wedding coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just the time that. of well, my life. <laughs> <laughs>
because <laughs> there's going to be some gang on gang action here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you saw that Derek die? Oh no. <laughs> he, he's going to be given a nice commendation from his teammates and uh, said, dude, you didn't die in the first day. And one fellow watch member is going to say, crap, and just rip up his ticket. Thing. <laughs> We gotta blast, find you a better so. job, babe. <laughs> gotta find you a better job. Yeah. <laughs> Came well, off maybe he'll close. settle down. Let you be the breadwinner. And here the, yeah. the, the lieutenant commander of that section totally puts the kid on the safe place that's supposed to be a safe place because the shops there even pay protection money to the local gangs to keep it a safe place. <laughs> That was the safe place? Oh, yeah, you gotta find That was the stuff. safe place. Until a, like, uh, yeah. do you know how to sing? <laughs> Until a young, naive watchman was trying to save a nice lady from being mugged in a dark alley. It was perfectly safe until we showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those nefarious people were there before us. We yes, saved yes, everybody we... from that. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who put two more notches on his carbine. <laughs> yeah, if I can ever get some money, I can buy some upgrades, but... <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't uh, go check the bodies, but, you know, totally was in character. Time to uh, uh, essence. Cops, cops showed up, so it made it a little more difficult. <laughs> I still hope right. Rory might give us a little incentive for doing good. <laughs> Here's your doing good bonus. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, think of all the, 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 the money they invested in training this kid and to have to, like, you know, put out a notice and hire someone new and train them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then paying out the dead pool. Like, hey, you know, we'll do that this way. Thanks. I mean, the worst part is he had a brand new coat and hat and now both of them are slightly dirty and has some bullet holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> No new coat for you, sir. Ditch those bullet holes and go back to work. <laughs> I'll sew up the bullet holes in the oh, coat. Wow. I know. We could line it with <laughs> satin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how much can we sell the satin for? Uh, if you want to sell the satin, you can get five gold for it. Okay, so there we go for the... There's totally a seamstress on every other street that will take, you know, that, that satin for five gold. They'll use it for hat lighting. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The video totally documents that it was sold for five gold. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, am I, am I keeping track of this? <laughs> did you I, have I this, think, Theo? Uh-huh. I think Theo's did you, adding did it. Did you add first. it? Oh, okay. I put it I in the chat. Said, oh, no. Oh, okay. Yo, you're contributing your five gold to the group fund? Yeah. I mean, that's going to cover the carousing and the... You bragged to Callus. I've got five gold to cover your uh, carousing care. Callus. Very good. <laughs> there, Callus. Four days of recruiting. You're good. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> get to work. Remember, to I, like, fun. spend money like crazy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> As you know, Theo's taking you know uh, her to the best bar that bets on bilge rat fights. Mm-hmm. Always bet on the one that's had its tail already chewed off. It's usually a fighter. <laughs> oh, we're not playing cards. We're betting on rats. Oh, great! Yay! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As you're totally looking at the higher class place, higher up on up on the street, that totally has steam jack boxing. Oh, I can't yes. afford to fix Gunny again right now. I thought about could, it. I thought about putting him in that totally fight. You put Gunny in a pit fight, just saying. We have 20 gold. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> my character doesn't care about fixed. money. <laughs> At which point, go 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 back into the book on the Steam Jack repairs. It's a little more than that. I was going to say, yeah. would, would 20 gold even cover the coal burned in the fight? <laughs> no. Yeah. One day, Gunny, one day I'll get you fixed up enough. You'll go in there and you'll clean house, babe. One day. Because Gunny just makes the sad sound of... <sighs> Can't you just make him nuclear powered? <laughs> Someday. 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 He's the heart of a dragon. 
and a little <laughs> bit of magic. Thermal dynamic. Bury me somewhere in a cave in the Middle East, and I'll discover a new element to power him. I'm on it. And then make him into a power armor suit while you're at it, too. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> Derek will be, like, really wealthy for, her, like, like a, from a really magical family. He's just not. And, like, I could get, I could get Gunny fixed. I, I wasn't quite sure. Was that uh, was that pointed at Theo? <laughs> sure. It was pointed like, at the universe. What was pointed at me? What? <laughs> that uh, maybe I'll get lucky, and like uh, Derek will be either from a really wealthy family, or he'll have a magical family, and I can, we can both win. <laughs> Wow. Oh man, now we gotta get a whole backstory for Derek the new guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? <laughs> well, Here it's kinda of on brand. I, I collected kids last time from an orphanage and turned him into knights, so you know. <laughs> I like to be consistent. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Jim's like, yeah, he was supposed to just be a fly by night character. Like <laughs> He was supposed <laughs> to die. What happened? <laughs> I asked, like, well, what's what are their names and what do they look like? And he was so annoyed with me because, like, the one kid's name is Die, and I was like, how do you spell that? <laughs> He's like D Y E. I was like, cool. <laughs> Got you. Their family were like some kind of fabric makers. He was like, yeah. I was like, cool. His fingers are perma stained. <laughs> yes, and I was like. Writing it down. Then I found pictures of all of them, and I was like, "This is what they look like, guys." Can't. Here we go. And then, then the warlock abandoned them. To the universe. Uh, well, yeah, you know, it it's because their, their adopted daddy died first. This is true. This is true. And I mean, I left them with like twenty-five gold <laughs> in the hands of a cleric. I feel like they had a pretty good shot. And make it in. <laughs> in, a, in a town surrounded by werewolves. Clearly, you did everything you could. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> as long as we're all in agreement. Just like Derek. I'll take real good care of Derek. He will be very tended for, as she has no sewing skills and she's sewing up his, his jacket with the most horrible stitches ever. Oh my god. Yeah, that never, that. I'm never letting her near a sail. <laughs> she's trying. She's being that good little wife. Or I mean uh sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> That's not yet happened soon though. So. As, as the camera pans out and it's a couple days later on five changes, as come some of your hirelings are totally sneaking and watching the uh shark scale shivs going back and forth into their base as the, the, the little hireling street kids are like, aha, we know where their headquarters is and they don't know about us. <laughs> <laughs> as they come running back to give you the information that they've gathered. And then we're going to have to find out next time where their headquarters is. Nice. So I will totally throw that out there that uh, next time I've got fireworks on the first weekend of June. July? Or, yeah, July. The next month, it's after this month. <laughs> okay. Totally yeah, to whatever that month is. So do, do we want to skip all together or are we going to do Do you want to skip July or do we want to do the 8th? Leave that up to you guys. Um, I'm good either way. I think I'm good either way. I can do the oh. eighth. Okay, so we will say the eighth. Okay. So I will type so. it in the notes just to remind myself. Sounds oh like wait, I, oh, I have oh. a superhero game that day. Oh, uh, that that would have been the complication <laughs> because oh, the, okay. because the second Saturday is usually the superhero game day, so. Yeah, but I think it's only happened once. Yes, it sadly yeah. it only happened once. You want to be a... Here you are playing Nefarious, and then you want to go play Goody Two-Shoe? Come on. <laughs> Which one's more fun? 
Yeah, we'll totally <laughs> leave, it, leave it up to Christopher to make the call on that one. No, I'm fine. I'm fine with with this on the eighth. Okay. So June, uh, July. Wow. Yeah. June. How is the year going by so fast? It's flying, man. And then the end your, of this month, we got Rincon coming up on the 23rd. Get your turkey now. It's almost yeah. time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy. This year's going by way too fast. Yeah. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash CPPN to never miss a show or stream.